Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the WebSphere Application Server Feature Pack for XML. The Feature Pack for XML supports the three new standards of XSLT 2.0, XPath 2.0, and XQuery 1.0. But before you use them, you have to get the Feature Pack installed. And that's what we'll walk through in this demonstration. This new feature pack is also based upon a newer inst installation technology called the IBM Installation Manager for WebSphere. If you go to the Install Manager page um, and download the 1.3.3 version of Install Manager, that's what's going to let you start installing the feature pack. If you go to the page for downloading the XML feature pack, what you'll find is a repository um, version of the installation that's designed for installing when you're behind a firewall or you don't have access to the network repository. In this demo, I'm going to take the very simple approach of using the network repository, um, which is the default mode for the installation manager. So again, download the version 1.3.3 of that. Now I happen to have this downloaded locally. So you'll see it's this on Windows that's this zip file. And I'm going to go ahead and unzip that into a directory. Once that is unzipped, go ahead into that directory and run the install for the install manager. So for the install, we'll see we want to install version 1.3.3 of the install manager. And at the end of the install, it's going to offer to restart the installation manager. Go ahead and do that. Now to connect to the network repositories, you're going to use the same password you use for the IBM website. and then the install manager is up. The first thing you're going to want to do is import a version of your application server uh, install history into the installation manager. So this lets you sync the install manager uh, to your WebSphere app server installation. As a prerequisite of the feature pack, you need to have the version 7, fix pack 7 of the application server installed. So to show that you can see I'm using um, WAS for developers and you can see that I've got the 7007 version. And once you have that you can go ahead and import your configuration and tell it where you've installed the application server. And go ahead and import. And you can see that now it understands that you have a application server package installed and now you're ready to install the feature pack. So if you click on install, you're going to see since we're using the network repository, we actually see all the feature packs and there's three different feature packs at this point in time for the version seven of the application server. For this demo, we're going to focus on the XML feature pack, but actually you can use the same installation technique for installing the service component architecture feature pack and the communications enabled applications feature pack. So go ahead and select the XML feature pack. If you click more info, it takes you back to the website for the XML feature pack. At that point, you can get uh, the getting started guide. You can find the readme for the most up-to-date information, um, many other uh, links, including documentation. So go ahead and go through each of the panels and get it ready to install. And at this point you can see that it's ready to install. And it actually at this point will pull down all of the um, functionality of the XML feature pack and install it inside of your application server environment. 
again, this is installing over the network, so you can see it actually downloading. Um, whereas if you need to install this behind a firewall where you don't have access to the network repository, you can go to the feature pack download page and download a repository that is in a zipped up format and then read the getting started guide for how to link that into your install manager. At the end of the installation, it's going to offer to launch the profile management tool. You're going to want to do that. And launch the profile management tool. And you can see I have no profiles defined in this environment at this point. You may have some profiles that you may want to augment, but for me, I'm going to create a new profile. So I'm going to create an application server that's enabled for the XML feature pack. I'm going to go ahead and go through the typical profile creation. And while the profile is being created, it's, it's worth noting that this is a really important step. Um, by augmenting your profile, what you do is you get the selective ability to augment certain profiles and certain servers for the XML feature pack. What that means is if you have a set of servers that um, you don't need the XML feature pack, you can install it into your application server install image, but you don't have to uh, make that capability available to those servers. But you get to selectively, uh, for the ones that you're going to use this functionality, uh, augment those profiles and make it available. So now the profile augmentation is complete. So what got installed? Let's look at the XML feature pack. A couple of things to point out. First off, the javadoc is con contained within the docs uh, subdirectory. Um, there's a couple tools for compilation of XML artifacts and execution of XML artifacts in the tools subdirectory. We're going to go in the next part uh, and show you what the samples are, but that's a really important thing that's under installable apps. And then finally, one of the other important things, which we'll explain in a future demo, is the Thin Client. Uh, the net of the Thin Client is that it is a J2S E client for 1.6 JVMs, where you can use all the same functionality that's available in the server with the XML feature pack um, when connecting to a WebSphere application server. So let's go ahead and install the XML feature pack samples. So we're going to create a new application. So under the installable apps directory, we're going to choose the XML feature pack samples ear file. We're going to go ahead and install that. There's actually a readme in that same subdirectory that if you want to run the database part of the sample that you're going to need to follow as well. For this demo, I'm going to skip the database sample. So we'll finish up installing. And we'll save that to the configuration. And we'll go ahead and start the sample. Once the sample is started and in, installed and started, if you go to the default uh, web container port and you put in the XML feature pack samples uh, part of the URL, that's where it's going to get installed to, you'll come up to the XML samples dashboard. And this is a really good set of samples, about 40 in total, where um, first you can read about the samples and, and what they contain. Um, but what they have is three different parts around the three different technologies. Um, there is a part of the sample application that just shows some of the new benefits of XPath 2.0 and then shows how to use them in end-to-end -end web application. The same thing for XSLT um, and XQuery. Hopefully this shows you how to get started with the XML feature pack, how to get it installed, how to get a profile augmented, and how to install the sample so you can start to work with the technology uh, in a very easy way with the XML feature pack.